Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Colleen and if we haven't met before, you are very, very welcome. And I hope that I'm going to be able to inspire you today with a way to use up napkins and also wooden beads. So to begin with, um, I have some cream beads here and you'll see that those have quite a nice hole in them. And I had some white beads which I have painted black and I've put a bit of um, water-based varnish on there so that those are nice and sealed. Then I have some napkin and this design is in black and white and I'm going to use this to decorate these cream beads. Now for those of you that haven't worked with napkins before, they either have two or three layers, those are called ply. And you want to actually separate them so that you're actually just left with this top layer which is very thin and transparent. And if you put a bead underneath it you'll see that the cream shows through. Now at this point you need to consider the colour of your bead and the colour of your napkin because I wouldn't be able to put this onto a black background which is going to make the whole design very very dark. You could perhaps use a colour like a pink or a blue to um, create this because that would show through and become part of the design but for this particular design I wouldn't do it black on black. Then if you are somebody that does junk journals and scrapbooking or card making the remaining ply will be have a slight imprint on it and this is quite nice as a background if you are doing junk journals so maybe keep one or two of those for a future project <laughs> you'll see here that I have torn up some of the napkin remember this is just the top layer and I'm now going to use some podge or mod podge to stick that on so I'm going to simply coat it onto my bead and then I'm going to use my brush to pick it up so that I don't become incredibly sticky now, you need to be very careful at this point that you're not gluing over the hole or if you do, you need to at least be aware of where the hole is so that at a later stage you can put a piece of wire through there so that you can thread them all together. So just start to layer them up. Decide how much of the design you want. I've got a piece at the back here that has a bit of a gap so I think I'm going to use this little daisy. And you are able to then just paint pod Mod Podge over the top because it's going to dry quite quickly. So you would continue like this until you have all of your beads um, decorated and then you're going to make sure that when you are stacking them for drying that you have some way that they don't get in touch. So I've got a kebab stick here and I've got a piece of wire on it and quite often what I do when I'm doing this is as I've decoupaged the napkin on I thread my beads onto this wire Goodness me, what I would pick up the one that doesn't have a hole that goes through. There we go. I thread them onto this piece of wire and then I'm able to stick my wire into a flower pot and secure a keep up stick on the other one. So it becomes like a little clothesline. And that's a nice easy way of actually being able to keep them so that the air can circulate completely around and they will dry nice and quickly. When I came to paint my beads, what I did for those was I put them on a kebab stick and let me just try and show you this here I put those on a kebab stick and I just put them between two glasses and that helped to dry very nice and quickly as well so you could do that with your bead if the hole in the center was big enough then the next thing that you would like to be able to do once everything is dry is to coat your beads with some water-based varnish so I've used in this particular case a dead flat decoupage varnish you could use a spray and even hairspray will work if you don't have anything else at home. And then the fun process begins where you need to start threading. So I have strung up here a double thread of beading thread. And I've started to just thread my beads together. Oh, sorry, everything's rolling around and I'm not in my normal space. I'm busy just downsizing. So a lot of my stuff's not available to me and it's actually quite... Quite a challenge actually to, to find out where things are. So I'm now going to just start threading my beads on. And as I said, just make sure that when you have threaded them that you can see where the hole is. If not, then just poke your needle or a piece of wire through so that you get that nicely done. And then when you come to do the end, you're just going to tie that together to form a knot. And you'll be left with a lovely necklace made very simply with some leftover beads and some napkins, a podge, and a bit of varnish. How's that for a quick project? Well, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.